Hello, I'm Jeffrey Mendish. Welcome to Formosa News. And I'm Jenny Chang. Military personnel will be tried in civilian courts for violations committed during peacetime following the passage of an amendment today in the legislature. The amendment will apply to those indicted following the suspicious death of Army Corporal Hong Jung Cho last month. With a strike of the gavel, Legislative Speaker Wang Jinping announced that during times of peace, military personnel accused of crimes will be prosecuted and tried by civilian courts. The decision was reached in haste, which led to bipartisan agreement for full implementation to be delayed. Implementation will take place in two stages. In the first stage, we want to give the Hong family what it deserves. And in the second stage, we want to give the people what they deserve. There will be five months preparation time. Crimes that relate to the death of Corporal Hong, such as abuse of a subordinate, will be switched to civilian courts as soon as the amendment is promulgated. I want to thank everyone for their hard work in allowing Hong Zhong Chiu to use this new bill. Our family is grateful for this. Over the past half month, significant changes have taken place in amending the Code of Court Martial Procedure. On July 20th, President Ma Zhou insisted that the Hong case be tried in a military court. Ruling in opposition, lawmakers issued proposals to amend the law on July 26. And last Saturday, Premier Zhang Yihua said two amendments would be needed. That same night, 250,000 people protested in Taipei. Recognizing that people wanted a quick solution, the presidential office called for just one amendment. After the victim's sister visited the legislature yesterday, lawmakers reached an agreement for the amendment to clear the legislature today. Their decision will end a court-martial system that has been in use for the past 57 years.